These days, it's not a stretch to say a business is only as good as its network. With the right infrastructure in place, your company is ready to collaborate, innovate, and connect with customers and suppliers. On the flip side, when network performance slips, your organization loses its edge. To thrive in this new network world, you need connections that can support anywhere, any device access for the applications that matter most, like streaming video, big data analytics, and unified communications. And you need a network that can scale to support rapid growth. According to the latest forecast from Cisco Systems, IP network traffic will grow 300% over the next five years. Likewise, broadband speeds are expected to double to keep up. Now, when you drill down further into these numbers, you find there are three kinds of traffic that are growing more quickly than others. It's important to understand these three trends and prepare accordingly. First, busy hour internet traffic is increasing more rapidly than average traffic. That means you need to be sure your network can scale to accommodate peak demand periods. Otherwise, you may not get the performance you need when it matters most during those critical business crunch times. Second, metro traffic is expected to grow twice as fast as long haul traffic. It's a reminder to keep an eye on the performance of your wide area network connections among business sites. And third, more than half of all IP traffic will come from non-PC devices within five years. Besides mobile devices, we're talking about video cameras, sensors, and a long list of other network things. Smart companies are investing in network performance now to drive innovation and increase their business velocity. In today's podcast, we'll learn from the leader of one of these businesses. Stealth Monitoring is a cutting-edge company that's leveraging new network infrastructure to drive its business. Based in Dallas, this family-owned business provides remote video surveillance services to prevent and deter crime for hundreds of customers across North America. Over the past five years, Stealth Monitoring has topped 50% year-over-year growth. Today, real-time video streams flow into their operations center from more than 7,000 security cameras. Since 2011, the company has partnered with Time Warner Cable Business Class to scale its network. David Charney is Stealth Monitoring's president. David Charney, it's great to have you with us here today. Thanks for having me today, Michael. I appreciate it and I look forward to a fun conversation. So, David, you're every entrepreneur's dream. You've caused a disruption in your market. You've leapfrogged established competitors. You've taken a local family business and grown it into a national player. What's driven your success? You know, Michael, it's uh, it's it's uh, God bless America. It's a fun place to be in business. Uh, it's a, it's an interesting time in the world, and security is something that every company and every person thinks about. So, uh, you know, we're we're we've been fortunate to create a business that's based around some very, very interesting technologies that allow us to help communities around the country. So folks who are listening might have a picture in their mind of what video monitoring looks like from maybe something they've seen years ago. What's it like in this day and age with high performing networks, high definition video cameras, and the power of data analytics? Nowadays, as you you pointed out, HD or or high quality megapixel cameras, uh, not only are much more sophisticated and powerful, but the quality of the images are unbelievable. Why the stealth monitoring story is different is not just because we help our clients design and install and service cameras throughout the country, but it's the way we watch them. The complete game changer is using the internet in real time throughout the country to centralize that video information using analytics both on the video and in other data metrics in order to be proactive. Our specialty is being able to watch something that looks suspicious and take action in real time whether it's sounding a speaker and trying to scare off two kids on skateboards in the back of a property uh, to something more serious, uh, a true burglar with a bad intent, uh, we are able to do that throughout the country. And many, many, many times a night we prevent crimes. Uh, so that's, that's the differentiator. Backing down from the industry into your business, I heard you point to two factors that you say have been game changers for you. One is the power of the internet. And the second is the power of data analytics. Can you talk about your network infrastructure, what you do for internet connectivity and your analytic solutions and how both of those help drive your business, make smarter, better, more efficient decisions and serve your customers? 
Absolutely. Uh, you know, when you when you're listening to what Stealth Monitoring does day in day out for hundreds of customers, you think uh, you know we have just people watching cameras, and and that is sort of the premise of what we do. But you can't do it with the scale that we do it without having very very sophisticated uh, algorithms, uh, custom built databases that improve efficiency, analyst teams, developer teams, database teams, all optimizing our master formula and our secret sauce to do it in a way that nobody else does. So what does that entail? That entails, first of all, we certainly have very serious internet uh, pipe with all kinds of redundancy, redundant power, redundant internet, all with real time switching over uh, with seamless uh, integration essentially. Uh, in the nine years we've been in business, I don't think we've ever missed a night of monitoring. And uh, that's an a testament to the different providers we use. Uh, certainly for our house internet, meaning our big pipe, we use Time Warner Cable Business Class uh, and they've been an excellent partner for us being both strategic uh, in terms of helping us design for the future, uh, as well as got, getting uh, the correct internet speeds for our constantly growing needs. It's one thing when you when you just sort of think about what you need today, because uh, it's easy to measure, but it's very hard when you have to predict how much you're going to need over the next year or two, and you have to think ahead when you're in a technology business because the growth curves are exponential. Um, to, to, to give you a little bit more on the analytics, obviously uh, with video feeds, there's this concept called video analytics, which is uh, where a computer is studying the pixel by pixel change across the camera signal in real time uh, and then just making uh, somewhat of a decision to, to get rid of the noise and send back what is very important. Well, that is a fundamental part of how we create the efficiencies we do. When I was uh, researching your business, something uh, fascinating that uh, popped out at me is uh, that you have learned to actually use uh, the growth and bandwidth demand at your business as a metric for forecasting the growth of your entire business in general. Can you speak to that? There's no better highlight to me of the power of the internet age, the internet business, than actually bandwidth becoming a metric that drives the whole company. Uh, absolutely. So, so we pride ourselves on all kinds of data. Um, one of the projects I worked on over the last year was trying to get uh, optimal performance out of every department in our company. Uh, when, when I did that, it's sort of like an internal audit. Uh, I used uh, my audit uh, experience to essentially build a ratio. And what I was able to do was figure out for this amount of cameras, this is my according staff, this is my according bandwidth, this is my according uh, back office needs, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, IT, help desk uh, resources, uh, et cetera, et cetera. What was very interesting is as I connected the dots and as I tried to figure things out, I found that using the internet growth trajectory, because we have that history, is, the, is probably the most successful way I can possibly predict what my future staffing needs and resource needs and even cash flow needs are. So we have actually found that measuring our internet with very heavy precision and then trending it uh, provides the best likely scenario for what our future growth curve is. So with the internet being a key predictor for growth, obviously being able to scale and grow your internet swiftly and cost effectively is essential. How has the quest for scalability and supporting growth uh, pack factored into the decisions you've made for your service providers and the technologies and infrastructure you've deployed? Uh, it's very important to not think of what you need now or even six months from now. It's important to sort of architect for five or 10 years from now and then work backwards. With the day and age we are living in with internet and with the speed of growth, it is possible that you drastically outgrow what you're expecting. And that's why you have to think much more aggressively with what the growth poss possibilities could be. And what's the experience been with the growth of internet traffic for your home office and your network control center in Dallas? I noticed that recently you had a major upgrade to the internet capacity uh, there. Certainly, we're measuring terabytes of data moved weekly. We're, me we're measuring average bandwidth used daily, uh, and we're measuring petabytes per year worth of data movement. Just to give you an example, Michael, I think this may help you. Um, the cameras inside of the local area network, the, essentially the camera network that's on our client site, an individual 1.3 megapixel camera can, can get up to as much as 10 megabits per second. Now, when we have clients that have two, two, two cameras in a baseball stadium, it's not of much concern. But when you're installing hundreds of cameras for a client's location, you've got to have a pretty serious network at the client side. Obviously, the video analytic engines that we run at the client side is very critical to knowing what kind of video data to send back to us in real time in order to, for our business to scale. And to uh, clarify that for listeners, it sounds like what you're saying is that uh, 
although there's huge bandwidth uh, requirements within the customer premise, the customer that you're working with for their video cameras, you have uh, special analytics tools that are able to crunch, crunch that data at the customer site. And so therefore it's not all getting back hauled to your network. What we do is high, buy a high quality piece of glass, a high quality camera, put it on the, connect it to that high quality network, store it all locally, process the video analytics at a, at a, high, at a high quality video feed with a lot more horsepower, uh, and then decide what comes home to Dallas to be monitored uh, in real time in a low stream. So, so that kind of covers our philosophy. This is not all about just video feeds. This is also about data analytics, data warehousing, business intelligence. We have built data sets that come back to us in, in close to real time within minutes, and we can tell the status of every single network object. Okay, that means if somebody weed whacks the camera in your parking lot and, and hits it with a weed whack and cuts the wire, Within minutes, we have reports here that tell us that camera seven is down. Now, if it was just a blip in power and we can restart that camera or upgrade the firmware, we do that all automatically from Dallas with uh, one of our analysts on the uh, you know, help desk team. Uh, in, in, if, it, if it is truly weed whacked, then we know that camera's down and we dispatch technicians to go repair it. So here we are with, with unbelievable service levels we can create for our clients because of all of that data we're sending back to here and looking at different exceptions and changes uh, with a different uh, lens than other people would normally be doing. So clearly network reliability and redundancy are essential for your operations. What difference do you see with the level of performance you have at your home office and your data center in Dallas with some of the different providers you work with for customer sites around the country? And how do you work with that? Sure, so so great question. And uh, you know the, the network service levels we have here at our home office uh, I don't think can really be compared to any of our client uh, internet connections. You know, we're 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 putting in a true enterprise redundant solution. We have entire teams that study the results, both to design them and uh, maintain them. Uh, you know, we use an outside uh, we use outside advisors, and we use Time Warner cable business classes resources to try to make sure that we're doing things the way we need to, uh, and to get the optimal redundancy. When it comes to the client sites, we obviously can't expect the same service levels from their internet side. But what it means is it means we need to have more tools here at our side to be able to identify problems with the client side and, and also help the client solve the problem. Um, it's, it's one of these things where we become their trusted advisor and we will work with whoever the ISP is for that local market. So David, you talked about bandwidth growth in your business. Can you give us some, some numbers about what that curve has looked like over time? Sure. When we started out, we were using 100 megabit circuits and uh, we had two different providers. Uh, and when we needed more internet, we would increase our internet strictly based on price. We would say which provider can get us additional increase. Uh, and we would increase two different internet connections. And we actually ran our business on two separate sort of main pipes. Um, as we started to grow a little bit bigger and as we got to about 2010, it came to our attention that we shouldn't just be scaling little chunks of internet at a time, and we need to take steps with bigger chunks. So in 2011, we made the decision to go with a pretty serious bandwidth connection, um, and we went with redundant fiber 500, uh, dual 500 megabit internet connections. Um, that lasted a little while, and, and, and I'm glad to say that our company growth uh, really uh, over, we thought that would last us about four to five years, but our company growth uh, actually hit those numbers within two years, uh, and we went further forward and increased it to dual gigabit uh, up and download connections. Um, now we're finding that we'll probably grow by a gigabit uh, every two to three years. Um, so unbelievable growth. And so really for you, you see a, a huge strategic advantage in being able to select a platform that's ready to grow immediately and that you don't have to revisit, pull out wire, rewire, and basically try to uh, change the wheels on a tire, change the tires on a car while it's rolling. I fully agree with that. I don't want to be messing around with and, and having to uh, take small baby steps on fundamental things like electricity and bandwidth. So we don't joke around. Uh, you overpurchase and you don't have to concern uh, yourselves with the growth trajectories as much. Uh, and you can sit back and be more comfortable and focus on your day-to-day -day business instead of looking at this as a distraction. And that, that really opens us up to bigger business opportunities. Instead of me selling a one and two and five location type clients, which is you know how we started, uh, now I have the opportunity when somebody says, can you handle adding 50 new sites uh, this year right away? And I, I can do that without even flinching now. Um, so, so I think it's important to stay focused on your core business and making good, smart, to scalable decisions on network bandwidth and network uh, design up front save you time getting distracted from your core business. 
it sounds like it really buys you a velocity advantage. I think without doing anything other than uh, making a phone call and paying a, a bill to, to Time Warner Cable Business Class, I think I can double my capacity right now. And there doesn't even need to be a design discussion or any changes of any hardware. So I have 50% uh, waiting uh, scale waiting right behind me as soon as I'm ready uh, financially uh, and with my customer basis. So that right there bought me a lot of time and uh, a lot of focus on our core operations uh, instead of some of our back-end infrastructure. So it's, it, it, is, it is worth the value to have very critical things like your bandwidth and your network and your, and your, and your design taken care of correctly the first time in me allowing, allowing our team to then focus on the real day-to-day -day business um, uh, with, 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 uh, with what we do for a living. So clearly in your business, helping customers manage their total cost of ownership of a solution like this is critical. How does the bandwidth and the network infrastructure that you have in place give you an edge in being able to address their total cost of ownership or their TCO issues? Yeah, absolutely. Total, total cost of ownership is certainly something that our clients take very seriously, right? All too often, uh, you can think of making a capital investment and putting in a camera system with Stealth or anybody else. Um, but how do you spend less money on trucks driving out, servicing that equipment over time? So we tend to use very high quality parts and, la and, 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 and very high quality uh, uh, labor force to install the parts. But the question is, after the site goes live, after still starts monitoring it, how do you keep their maintenance and service bills down over time? Uh, and like I said earlier, we've built all kinds of tools, which is basically data movement. We have found that over time, 50 to 60% of all of the service tickets, we are able to troubleshoot from here by working remotely and or with our clients' employees directly on site, meaning that 50 to 60% less truck rolls and service calls and time and material bills or warranty plans that our customer has to purchase over time. So we have this unique factor because of all the data we've pulled back, uh, we are able to save the client's money by doing things remotely. And they absolutely love that. That's a big part of why our customers love our services. Of course, the number one reason is, is being proactive and having the video actually proactively monitored. Um, but the total cost of ownership we provide with our customers is really, really important. And it sounds like you've turned that total cost of ownership strategy on your own business as well. That's true. I think, I think you know, we, we definitely want to keep all of our costs down. Uh, we, we, we're, we think we're a lean and, and well-run organization. Just so you know, in 2015 alone, uh, just by building some new data sets and data warehouses off of our existing data, we were able to improve our monitoring margins by over 10%. Uh, and that's interesting because that means my labor force today in the monitoring department is about the same as my labor force was a year ago. Why is that special? Because we just grew by 2,000 cameras this year, or maybe more, quite a bit more, and yet our labor force is actually still the same size. So that, that, that essentially, you can look at that as, as operational efficiency, but you can also, as, if you have a financial mindset, look at that as, as profit improvement for sure. So real, real tangible dollars from that total cost of ownership strategy. And David, it's great having a chance to talk to you. You just got uh, real exciting business that you're running. Thank you very much. I appreciate you guys uh, allowing me to be part of your program, and hopefully it's meaningful to our audience, Michael. Thanks, David. Companies like Stealth Monitoring are leveraging the new network to rewrite the rules for business. As David explained, the more your organization depends on its network, the more important network performance is to your success. Be sure to do your homework and choose partners that can give your business a competitive edge. For Time Warner Cable Business Class, this is Michael Harris.